Okay, what's up guys? Uh, so one thing I'll note right off the start of this is that I know it's extremely late, so I apologize for that. But being that I made a predictions video for regionals, I figured I'd also make one for worlds. Uh, now I'll admit, I haven't been following the scene too closely after regionals went over. But I have been keeping up the scrims and I've also done a little research on the lesser known teams here. So while my predictions may not be spot on, I can say they'll probably be pretty close. Uh, as with last time, I also have all the team rosters listed in, in the description below. With that said, uh, starting off with Group A, we have a pool that I believe is probably the easiest to predict. Without offense to Chosen Squad or Excel, you know, I think they're both really great teams. I'm just fairly certain that the two teams we'll be seeing coming out of here will be uh, Team Allegiance and Team Liquid. Uh, now, as for which team prevails with the higher seed, if you were to ask me like the same question a month ago, I'd say Allegiance hands down, but with where we are now, Liquid has, you know, really drastically improved to like the point where they're pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with EG and Scrims. I believe like they beat EG 9-8 in Scrims the other day. And uh, while I know you can't put online Scrims too much in consideration, uh, but we all saw Liquid at regionals. They're definitely capable of holding their own at LAN, and in fact, they pretty much thrive there. Uh, it's a tough call, but I think that Liquid is going to pull the upside here. Uh, now moving on to group B, this is a tough one, not because these teams are necessarily that closely matched, but moreover because there's one team in here that sorta has the reputation of being dangerously inconsistent, and uh, that team being Renegades. Now don't get me wrong, I love the guys in Renegades, they're probably my favorite team going into this event, but they just can seem like two entirely different teams at times within the day, and it can be kind of frustrating as to watch as a viewer. I think they can definitely put up a good fight against EG, but I think the series to look out for here for sure will be their match against Infused. That'll probably end up being the uh, pool deciding match. I uh, can't say much about EG, they're pretty dominant, I, I'm expecting them to come out of the pool 3-0, but you know, it's a crazy world of Halo, you never know what'll happen. Moving on to Group C, I think this pool is probably the hardest one to predict, I honestly think that any of these teams have the potential of clinching a spot in the top two, like the top two as in the group top two. But uh, what my gut's telling me here is that the two NA teams are going to end up making it out, which is probably going to be the case. Uh, put a gun up to my head, I will say Denial first, Elevate second. If I had to put any other team up there, it'll probably be like Fabe over Elevate. Uh, but again, it's any team's game here. Now, before I even get into Group D, I'll just put CLG right off the bat up 3-0. <laughs> Honestly, they're the clear favorites here in terms of skill. No other team has really gotten close to emulating what they can do and they really have no reason to drop a series here. What I do think is painfully hard to predict is whether Cloud9 or Epsilon will be making it out. Because while Infused did nab the first seed at the EU uh, regional qualifiers of Epsilon, I still think that Epsilon is the best EU team there. So it's definitely going to be a close one to Cloud9. I honestly think that it could go either way. But if Jibble turns up and the Bucks are playing well, I think they'll be able to take it. With that said, those are my pool play predictions. Now I'm not certain, but I believe that after pool play is finished, the seats get drawn randomly into a single elimination bracket, so my guess there is just as good as yours uh, for the final exact placings. But uh, with that said, feel free to leave a comment, your own predictions below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, get ready guys, it's going to be an insane weekend, I can't wait.